Hi everyone, it's me Tina again. My husband, my wonderful husband, found me two jars. This one, which has some really cool thing like this big flower necklace, and it has a bunch of silver things at the bottom here, which I'm anxious to see. But I want to open this one. It has some really nice teaspoon set in there. I don't know if you can see it right, right there. Scallop shell. It's got this necklace here. This one was $19.99 at the Goodwill. It's just got a lot of nice beads in it. But before I start that, I, I thought this was a drawing someone made and then uh, made the necklace. But in reality, it's most likely a drawing she made of the necklace to show somebody. But I'm still glad she put it in the bag. I haven't found any information on it. The wood on here is different. I mean, it's like peeling. At least I think this is wood. And look at the front here. Looks like some kind of, uh, I don't know what it is. But it's different. And I don't know. I still think it's gross to use rattlesnake vertebrae but i still like the drawing okay and this i realized today is a ralph lauren necklace it has the r l l here this is i found this on etsy actually for 150 so that's nice very good find for me and this which needs to be repaired. It just needs to be glued back together here. It had the double safety on it. And it is sterling. And the, the beads, I wasn't sure what it was. I mean, I showed you that it looked like cotton candy and stuff. But I found out today that it could be, I mean, that it, everything I tested about it, or I read everything, it says this could be red jade. So that. If it is red jade, that is awesome. I didn't know they made jade in other colors. It's red, purple, black, green, and yellow. I didn't know you can have anything but green jade. <laughs> I thought green jade was it, but I found this bracelet online. I can't remember the price. And this I'm having such a hard time with. You see how it has the roses here? The outline, like a stencil of a rose, and it has these AB crystals inside the roses and then they have the regular clear crystals on the outside and these beautiful beads carbachons i guess they call them i cannot find anything if you kind of turn it it kind of turns blue here it's got a lobster clasp so it's not too old um it's unmarked and if anybody has any information on who they think might have made it i would surely appreciate some help so, yeah, if you can leave me a comment and help me on what it is, I would so, oh, be so happy. So, we're going to open this jar now. Goodwill, $19.99. Where's my knife? Uh, I was getting everything together. Okay, got it. I don't want to cut that top one as a beaded necklace. I thought it was um those... The, uh, carbachon? No. Uh. <laughs> I can't think of the name of it. Oh, I hate my mind. If I'm looking at the jar, you know those beads that have the, um, gold thing on it? But it's, these are more ceramic. I don't know if that's considered the same thing or not. Because I, I read up on it and it said that they actually lay metal wire and they uh before they put it in the kiln but this is still beautiful it's heavy it's a uh, ceramic at least for sure but and also you can see on uh, some of the things here it's white but it's a beautiful piece and heavy and let's see what the clasp says if it says anything it's a nice clasp it's a box clasp push the little button here opens and uh, sometimes it's written inside nothing you know i wish people would sign if i made a, a necklace a bracelet a ring i don't care if i made any kind of jewelry i would sign it 
because how how else can can people know who created such beautiful things except for design it? So if it, uh, if anybody has any information, would this just be considered a ceramic necklace, or is it still considered that? Um, I mean, it is raised the flowers and stuff, but it there's no wire there. Can't I can't think of the name. I know it starts with the C. Maybe it is Carbachon. Carbachon and the other thing is something else. I don't know. <laughs> I'm horrible with that. These I did I had a pair of 14 karat gold kiss earrings, but this one as you can see is missing the line where the K is. So that's just gonna be for collecting the gold. Watch out, baby. This is what I wanted to see. I, I'm hoping the whole set's here of these teaspoons because I found them on, on eBay and they're not the same ones. Shoot. The ones I saw, oh, these are nice though. They're mermaids. The ones I saw had fish at the ends. But look at these. This one says tablespoon, teaspoon. I think it says teaspoon. Yeah half a teaspoon, and then a fourth of a teaspoon. And they're mermaids. Those are nice. The other ones, I like the other ones better, but here's the back. Mermaid. What I can see through the shell, I can see just this part, the scallop, and I can see it said one tablespoon. So yeah, I was looking for that. And I saw the fish ones, and I was like, oh, I hope it's the fish ones. <laughs> These are nice, too. Oh, I don't know if they're sterling silver or not. They're not sticking. Well, this thing is. But they don't stick. So, they could be stainless steel, I guess. I don't know if it says. Let me see. They're held together with this piece of cord, so. Um. No, but these are probably on Amazon, too. That's where I found the other ones. I don't know if I said eBay. I meant Amazon. But they are beautiful. I mean, these, these are the nicest teaspoon sets I've ever seen. Okay. This. I thought through the jar was brass beads. And they are brass beads. They stick, of course. Because I found out from one of my viewers that um, it does stick to brass. Oh, it's a double. These look like Christmas lights actually, to me, because they're little different color glass or ceramic beads. It'd be good for Christmas. It has a lobster clasp, and it has a tag. What's the tag say? It says A-E-O. A-E-O. Is that American Eagle something? American Eagle Outfitters? I'm not sure. But I'm so glad it's signed because I have such a hard time finding things when they're not signed. I put in everything. <laughs> everything. You can. It's a nice size, though. It's really long. Let me see if I put it over my head. It goes right in the middle of the chest. It's actually really pretty. But yeah, it reminds me of Christmas lights. So I will probably wear this during Christmas time. A string of lights. Which I think is cute. I've seen those. It's heavy because of the metal beads. This is an R. I'm guessing it was a keychain. Doesn't have the keychain part on it. That's a nice R. My brother's name's Richard. Maybe I could just send it to him. Doesn't stick. Oh, the part that it's hanging on sticks. But that doesn't stick. Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's silver. It's got bubbles in it. <laughs> Of the covering. So. <laughs> this I found online. Mother of Pearl. I uh, can't remember what the price is. But it's a Mother of Pearl um, spiky necklace. Oh, it's got a chip right here. Oh no. It's not a chip. It's actually smooth like the rest of it. So it was like that before they made it. That's a bummer. Somebody didn't look very good. I don't know if that brings down the price of it. And then it's got Mother Pro chip here. It's a nice... I guess it would be like a choker or a collar. 
I think it would look, yeah, it would look better the way they have it. But it's very pretty, yeah? I don't like that one, though, man. The chipped one. Or not chipped, the grooved one. There would be too much work to redo just for that. Unless it doesn't sell. It has one of those hook clasps. No mark. Oh, but it is online. I can't remember who made it, but I can find that again. So, that's good. I should leave these down here. So that I can find them. I know who the maker is. It's not in my head right now. <laughs> this has a string on it. That's cut up with this. Okay, let's look at this one then. Oh, man. It's doubled on there. Okay, this is some kind of a metal or coin. Oh, it's a Creed Quode. I don't know. Latin, I think. Oh, it's from Caesar's Magical Empire. It's heavy. It's very nice. I wish they wouldn't, you know, put holes in these kind of things. Especially, you know, real coins. You see it, bracelets and stuff with holes in it. Why don't they just put it in, like, a holder so that they don't ruin the value of the coin? This is nice. I'm going to look that up. And it's on a black cord. Just knotted right there. No maker mark. Oh, search. Where's my search stuff going to go? Right under there. This is... Uh, a coil, I guess, of uh, seed beads. Really, really tiny seed beads. White. This would be a choker size. And it has a sp spring clasp. But that's it. No mark. So I suppose to, yeah, I need to research this. These again to get the name. Oh, actually, I gotta search all those. <laughs> Silly me. Okay, here's a uh, glass pendant. On colorful um, strings. I usually don't like it, but sometimes I like them. Uh, it's kind of like a blue, a silver with blue, light blue, dark blue. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. The back and the, the strings here. It's kind of a uh, short, so it would be like a choker too. Ooh, this is kind of cool. Whoa, what is that? These are seed beads, too, but it feels really neat. You see that? Somebody, um, it's kind of like the same thing as the white one, but it's, you can see that it's hollow. Wow. They look like seed beads. Yeah, with wire, seed bead and wire. Can you see it? I'm trying to, I saw it, and then it's got this beautiful pendant. Wow, look at that. And those beads right there. This is gorgeous. And it has a toggle clasp. Is that what that's? Yeah, toggle. I think that's a toggle clasp. Sometimes the name's on the toggle itself. Nope. Man, people sign your stuff. <laughs> Nothing on the back of the pendant either. Oh, and there's some stones on this right here. And they're all there. That's good. That is beautiful. I don't know what shape that is I guess I could look up swirl glass swirl but this feels so cool I wish I could let you guys feel it it feels so neat the way it just it feels silky actually okay oh we got shells oh yeah there was a jar my husband <laughs> sent me an email and he calls me and says because I don't have a cell phone but he calls me and says look at your email and so I did and there was the two jars there was this one here that I didn't open and another one that was just full of shells and I told him to pass on the shell one because I got tons of shells and I don't need any more. Do not need any more shells. I do have a, a craft that I want to try to do with the shells but I don't need to have him spend $15 on a shell necklace. This is pretty. Where's the clasp? There it is. Got a really long extender chain. But it's not the... I don't think you can actually use it as an... I guess you could. It didn't look like you'd be able to put the... 
um, spring clasp inside of there. Let me see. Yeah, we can. <laughs> it's really long. You see, really small. Oh, it's heavy. It's glass and pearl. And it's got a bead cap up here. It's really pretty. These beads are beautiful, too. Look at those, man. These are all glass. I like these little spaceship-looking ones. And, of course, the main one is really nice. Reminds me of a circus tent thing or a thing the elephant stands on in the circus. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, and it's got these A-B accents beads. I think it's a choker size because it's really small. But it would look good on somebody who had a skinny neck. I don't think it's going to fit my neck. Now we have some metal here. This is interesting. It's got a knot in it. I think it's a knot. Yeah, that's a knot. In the chain itself. Come on. Huh. I think I need to open the clasp. Plus it's stuck on this other chain. No, it's not. Okay. But it's got a knot in the chain itself. See if I can get it out real quick. I love opening jars. I know I have to <laughs> list my items, but... And I'm gonna do it. Anita Benita does. She makes a video of the items she listed that day. Well, this is really pretty. Let's see if it sticks. Sticks on the bindings, but not the chain in between. This one says... Cookie Lee. Okay, so this is most likely not silver, but I think it's cool looking. I like these pieces right here. They kind of look like bottle cap. I mean, can tabs. <laughs> but it's a nice long chain, and I think you could put a pendant on here. Some kind of pendant that maybe goes with it, and it would look really nice. Or wear it without a pendant. Cookie Lee. Very pretty. I guess I'm going to end up searching everything. Even though I know that's pretty I want to know what the price is so I don't overcharge. So, I thought it's off flash. It's still recording, so... This doesn't look silver or anything. No, it's not sticking. It doesn't say silver. Doesn't mean it isn't. That's different. Oh, no. Well, the beads... Well, is that a plastic bead? Yeah. And these are... Can't tell, really. It's got little... It's got chain here. And then beads. Different beads on some of the sides. I thought they were... You know, I thought the fit coating came off. But no, those are the beads. How they're supposed to be. They're plastic beads. And I think these are metal beads. I can't... Oh, well. I'll have to look it up and see. There's no maker's mark on it. Just a spring clasp. It's kind of cute. And we have a... Looks like a circle pendant. Or is this not supposed to be on there? Um, yeah, it's supposed to be on there. Oh, there's two here. Two necklaces. Okay, I'll get it. This one? Oh, that's beautiful. Let's see if it sticks. Yeah, got stuck to my pants. Yeah, that sticks, but what about the pendant itself? The pendant is gorgeous. Can't tell. No. The pendant. Does it say something? No. But here's the pendant. It's beautiful. And the stones are all there. And then it's on this small chain here. With a lobster clasp. It is pretty. I like that. Did you lose your bone? You can't feel it, baby. I can't. I don't know. Sorry. I don't feel it. Okay, now this one is a, another very fine, delicate silver chain. Silver tone chain. I don't know if it's silver. This one does say 9.25. Let me make sure I have the right side. I gotta pull back a little bit. Do you see the 
and then it has this really pretty pendant on it. Looks like a ring and it has little crystals. It's pretty. Okay, it doesn't stick. Doesn't stick. That is really pretty. I wasn't sure it went to. I thought maybe it got stuck, but no, it's inside of the pendant. I like that. Okay, pour out some more. Yeah. Feathers. I'm not really a feather person. I don't like the feathers. Beads. Oops, these beads are stuck on this necklace. This looks like a one thing necklace. Multi link. Necklace, let's look at that one. Ew, I was wondering what these beads were. I don't know, plastic, but the beads that are, it's on is, oh, wow, gorgeous. And it's one of those asymmetrical beaded necklaces. But look at these big beads. These are cool, and they're plastic. But they look really cool with this beading. And it hangs, you know asymmetrical because the clasp is up here. It has a really nice cap on it. They were very professional, whoever made it. Beautiful. Look at the beads. Gold, black, and white. I like this. And I like asymmetrical necklaces. And there are no marks on here. Bummer. No marks on the beads. But I saw these beads through the jar and I was trying to figure out what it was. I thought it was a, all that. You know, I thought those were a whole necklace of those beads, but I like that better. <laughs> a lot of beads in this jar, which is fine. This looks a little dusty, but it's a long, and was that tied in a knot? No. Long beaded, I mean, really, let me double it and show you. Here's a long beaded necklace. It's purple, black, and gold. I saw a red, black, and gold one in here, too. Purple, black, and gold. This needs to be restrung or something because there's, like, a lot of string. Or whoever did it didn't tighten it enough. But they're pretty. I don't think I have to take it apart. I think I just have to find a spot that I want and knot it after I get all the beads down there. Because there's a good part. A good, you know, amount of string here. And they're plastic, plastic beads. Very pretty. And then we have this, which I thought was, I didn't know it was plastic. This is a choker. It's pearlized blue. This is all plastic, everything, the whole thing. So maybe it's meant for a child. And then it has one of these hook clips on it. Oh, it has something written here. Um, oh, it says West Germany. Huh. I guess it's not meant for a child. I don't know if you can see that. West Germany. Well, that might help with the search. I was looking up pearlized uh, blue statement piece. <laughs> and I said choker because it looked like a choker. Because like, all I could see was this this part. And that looked like a choker to me. Well, that is pretty. Even though it's plastic. But I like the silver accent it has on these parts. You see the silver here? Really pretty. Light. Very light. My nails are always dirty. Sorry. Yeah, I have another one of those coins. The Caesar one. I've got two of them now. Same. Same. At least they look the same to me. I'll have to look at them closely and see. Oh, this is different. Got like a, well, that's what the feather's hanging off of. Felt and then felt square beads. Yeah, I'm probably not going to keep it, but I'll take it apart and use the beads. And then it's a nice design. I don't like the feather, but it's a nice design. You know, the nice idea that they had with it, but I just don't like the felt. I'll look it up and make sure that it's not like an expensive necklace or something which i really doubt but it could be you don't know i don't know this the clasp is broken it had a it's a got a box clasp on it but it's not on this side so and these beads don't come off so i'm guessing these are 
Well, it might come off. No, I don't know. They have holes in them, but they're on a metal, thick metal chain. Yeah, I don't think they're going to come off. Maybe I can figure out something else to do with it. Maybe somehow make it a bracelet. That wouldn't look bad as a bracelet. We'll see. Put that in there. Okay, now the rest of the jar. That didn't take long enough. Empty jar. Oh, so sad. Okay. Oh, I thought this was hooked to something. Well, it could be hooked to any of these beads. Because the colors match. The purple, the blue. So. Here's the pendant. It's wood. Oops. It's wood. It's got three pieces here. So, you know. That's not bad looking. And it would look good with any of these or all of these. Like the purple and the... See, it would look really good with all of them. I don't know why it wasn't on there. Okay, but let's look at this one first. Because this one looks like a whole necklace. It's got a hook clasp on it. I thought these were just loose, you know, strings of beads that you uh, buy. And then you take you use them. This says Philippines as a sticker. A sticker right here that says Philippines on it. Clasp here. Let me hook it up. It's a pretty clasp, though. It's got a really nice detail to it. You know, the little curl thing. And it's all one size. But this would look good on here. And it might actually hold all those strands. So I might be putting it on this one. That's pretty dope. Pretty wood beads. Then we have... Oh, this is all one necklace. So maybe it goes on here because of the colors. It's got all... All the colors. Yeah. I think it goes on here. But I think it would have looked look better on the purple. It's got this... I think it's a barrel clasp. Or do you pull it? Let me twist it and see. Mm, it's a barrel. Yeah. Barrel clasp. I don't go in there. <laughs> yep. There we go. What do you guys think? Look good with this? I think it would look better with the purple. Leave me a comment. <laughs> I think it goes with this one. But this, either way, this is a, a multi-bead necklace. So none of these were used, I mean, put in here to be used as beads. It's very nice. I think that's cool. I've never seen a wood necklace like this. Especially with the pendant now. No mark. I'm oh, sorry, my leg is falling asleep. Yeah, oh. My leg up. Huh? It's going numb. Now these these shells I do not have. This is the first one these. Uh, I tangled with this one. This is pretty too. Do these shells have a clasp? No, of course not. Okay, what about this one? It should have a clasp, right? Okay, it looks like it's hooked to it, but can't be. Come on, have a clasp or unhook something. It's all tangled up. This is a really pretty necklace. If I can get it off again, I do not see a clasp anywhere. I don't believe it. Is it magnetic clasp somewhere? <laughs> no, wait. Oh, it's not coming apart. Okay. I can't get it. I have to try later. I don't want to spend all this time doing it. Here's these shells. I don't have this kind. I, can't, I don't know if you can see them. They're like little... They're rough. They have a texture on them. There's the inside. At least I don't remember having these kind of shells. I mean, there's orange one. And, and they don't sound like the other shells do. And then, I don't know what this is supposed to look like. But I can't find a clasp and it took to the shells, but it is beautiful colors. It's got it's got maroon and green and some black and some silver accent beads here. I really like it. I can't to see what it looks like. I will figure it out to get it apart. Okay. These are beautiful. These are the ones I was telling you about. The black, gold, and red. These are like those purple ones, but I think it looks a lot better in the in the red. You can see the details better with the gold stripes on the beads. These are wood also. 
very pretty. Very long like the other one. But it looks a lot better than the, where'd it go? Than the purple, which is right here. It's the same exact bead, but the red just, I don't know, just looks a lot better. And it was actually made better because there's no, there's no string showing. But I love the details on here. Let me see if you can, if I can find one that has a lot of the gold. There's gold on here. See? It's just beautiful. Oh, it is. It's really long. I like it. And I like red. Okay, and then we have a pearl. Oh. Memory wire. Oh, no, wait. This is, I guess, supposed to be a... This is memory wire. What, are you supposed to wear it? Or maybe it was an earring that lost its thing. And then, oh. And then these, it has a connector here. How are you supposed to get that on? Oh. My bad. Like that. So this one came off a bit. So it's like a pearl cuff. But that one came off. That's not a bad idea, actually. Except for it, it broke. That's metal, so. See it sticking out over here? Yeah, that would hurt some not to take those off. But it is a good idea with the memory wire. I wouldn't even thought of that. So I'll put that in the crafting. It feels like pearls. There's a little Christmas ball here. Yay. I love Christmas. Let's put that in the crafts. This is pretty. It's pendant. I don't know if it sticks. It probably sticks. No, it doesn't stick. It doesn't have much metal to it. And... It's cold. I'm trying to put this to Jane. No, it's cold. So it, c it could be a stone. It's very pretty. And it doesn't stick. I don't know if it's stunning or not. Let me see if it has a number on it. Yep, no number. But it is a beautiful bead or stone. If anybody knows what this stone is, can let me know. Or plastic. I can't tell if it's plastic or stone. It's it's cold, but it's kind of cold in the house. I don't have heater on. Okay, here's the last piece. It is a, it says, uh, shoot, there's a name. Spoon. Spoon is the name of the maker. It is a bingo brooch. Bingo card. It's got a brooch thing. Looks like this would have turned, but you can see under there it says spoon. Kind of, I can't twist it. It won't twist. I thought it would twist, but it says spoon under there. And then it says uh, 3812, and there's a PWT. I don't know what PWT is. Is this thick? No. It's probably a plant. I mean, I can't remember the metal. <laughs> okay, well, that's it for that jar. A lot of pretty things. I got them all inside this little pan here. And this one I'm going to untangle. And see what it looks like. And I hope you guys all... Oh! Yeah, I said the rock Lauren. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a wonderful evening. And join me again, please. Thank you. Bye-bye.